Greetings from Bill Back and Farmer Bill. The funds are at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery. And well, we're out wishing I had a watermelon. Oh, wait a minute, we do. Watermelons are coming along outstanding this year at Mays Valley. Looking up, up across the watermelon patch here, this is about the third video blog installment or YouTube installment for the watermelon patch at Mays Valley. I started out with the day we were planting them and had one a few weeks ago, and here we are with a big fruit set. Uh, we're doing really good. This is July 21st, 2009, where I'm out here walking through the patch. And we have a whole bunch of different sizes out here. But we have some really nice sizing watermelon for this time of year in our area. I mean, this, these things are about, compared to most years, well, I'm guessing two, three weeks ahead of schedule, which is really strange this year. This has been a weird growing year. Uh, we've, as of late, you know, most of the year, it's just been kind of cool. We haven't had a tremendous amount of heat. Uh, we haven't had a tremendous amount of sunshine. And uh, some crops are responding real, really well, and some crops aren't. I mean, my corn maize just looks sick right now compared to most years. I think it's gonna get done, but it's not what I had hoped for given the planting conditions that went in were just ideal. After that, it got rained on and cool and packed and from the, the excessive rain, then it dried up and it got hard. It's just been downhill, but the vegetable crops here are just looking like rock stars. Gonna walk over here to the cabbage patch, and you can see we have a couple different varieties by the different colors out here, but they're just, just kicking butt and taking names. And that's kind of exciting to see this year. My father-in-law, Kay, does all the growing. I can take absolutely no credit for this. I'm the guy who helps sell it, and when they get in a pinch and a bind, I help out with the field work here or there. But uh, he's pretty much in charge of the veggies. And, um, you know, like the cabbage is cool, but like, like I said, the watermelon over there, they're the rock stars, man. You roll into a farmer's market and you got watermelon, man, you're like everybody's buddy. I mean, like the peppers and the greens and this stuff is all good for you. And the salad, yeah, you like eating the salad, but it's the watermelon that you get excited about. I mean, fruit uh, like that or vegetables with, with sugar cells, you know, just like in our wine sales, where about 70 to 75 percent of our wine sales are made up of sweet, of the sweeter variety of wines. Uh, a lot the same thing goes for vegetables. I mean, people know that veggies are good for you, but hey, it's the sweet stuff that we like. Panning back across the cabbage patch, here you can kind of, or the pepper patch, excuse me, you can see the peppers are coming up real, real nice too. We got some really healthy looking guys here. Uh, a lot of these look like banana hot varieties here. And we have some greens, and he has about 20 different varieties of peppers out in the field. And they're all spread across here. And as I mentioned earlier, just a pinch under 70,000 pepper plants went in this year. And it looks like darn near every one of them survived. We're using some new products this year. I mentioned an earlier uh, vineyard post uh, about the grapes. We're using a bacterial agent. Uh, you, you spray it on and it also goes in the fertilizer. It's a real low grade um, fertilizer. Not much at all in it, but what it is, it's, it's a, it's a bacterial agent that, uh, via bacteria, break down existing nutrients in the soil and just make them more readily available to the plant. It, that way we can use less inputs and it just increases microbial action in the soil and thereby making the soil essentially healthier as well by breaking down that and it breaks down everything in the soil, including organic matter, it's uh, also gonna be helping to build the topsoil at the same time. So once again, Bill Back and the Fun Czar, out here in the pepper, cabbage, and watermelon patch, giving a crop update on Tuesday, July 21st, 2009. At Mays Valley, we make great wine fun, but we grow a lot of veggies, and I just want to say thank you very much for stopping by.